Computer graphics have evolved to the point where movie theaters can make any kind of landscape look real. That sometimes means when we are looking at photos or videos of a location, we can't be sure whether it's real or not. We can assure you that everything you're about to see in this video is 100% real, even though your eyes might tell you that it's impossible. These are simply some of the most amazing, breathtaking places on Earth. Kandy Lake in Kazakhstan is a place so beautiful that it's hard to believe it came from something so violent. The lake never existed at all until an earthquake struck this part of the Tian Shan Mountains in 1911, causing a landslide that resulted in the creation of a stunning natural dam. Over the course of the next 100 years, rainwater has slowly filled the dam to give it its current appearance. The bleached spruce trees that jut out of the water reflect perfectly off the surface of the turquoise lake to create a stunning optical illusion. But below the water, things are even more remarkable. The portion of the trees beneath the water are still alive, which makes it look like you're swimming through an upside-down underwater forest. Even though it's so pretty, the lake gets few visitors because the Colsay Lakes are only a few miles down the road and are more popular with the locals. This is a perfect place to come and relax in total serenity. In the southern Urals of Russia, we can find the mysterious archaeological site of Arkham, sometimes referred to as the City of the Sun. Some people call this the Russian equivalent of Stonehenge, but even Stonehenge can't compete with Arkham when it comes to age. This old fortress is around 3,000 years old. We say fortress because that was the site's most likely use. It was surrounded by two circular walls and a moat, so it was heavily guarded. Within those walls were 35 houses, so you could even consider it as a small and well-protected town. Primitive water and sewage systems existed at Arkham, suggesting a degree of sophistication that went with the ritualistic sacrifice of animals, which has been proven by animal bones found at the site. The design isn't typical of the Bronze Age, and so some historians believe it might have been inspired by Troy. Nobody can say for sure who built it, but the most likely architects were early Indo-Europeans, possibly the Aryans. The most common association with the word psychedelic is the music and culture of the late 1960s, so it's not an expression you'd commonly associate with salt mines. Nevertheless, these salt mines in Yekaterinburg, Russia are one of the most psychedelic sites we've ever seen. Looking at the color and intricacy of the patterns on these walls, it's hard to believe that the design was created by nature instead of humanity, but it was. The long-abandoned salt mines are some 650 feet below the city that lives above them, and would make a great place for a nightclub if someone could get a license. The patterns are down to a mineral called carnalite, which has swirled through the walls over millions of years, completely covering the rocks in a variety of shades. The tunnels stretch on for miles in many directions, and it would be easy to get lost in them without a tour guide. Getting a guide is the only way you'll gain entry. They're accessible only with a permit from the government. Did you ever have a teacher at school who you thought was a little strange and made you wonder what they got up to outside of school hours? Perhaps that teacher was a little like Canadian Peter Kamani, who has built Midlothian Castle in Burke's Falls, Ontario, with his own two hands. For reasons best known to himself, he's made it one of the most terrifying castles in the world. Kamani, who has been working on his castle since the 1970s, was greatly inspired by the work of ancient British Druids, and has incorporated several features of their culture into his work, including eerie screaming heads, appearing to belong to humanoid figures half buried in the ground. There's also a stone forest to walk around, within which all the trees are actually distorted sculptures. The screaming faces are everywhere, including a huge one positioned right at the top of the tower's castle. The fire-breathing fish are quite a sight to behold, too. Don't misbehave while you're there if you're going to visit. He's also built a full-sized dungeon underneath it. Sticking with the theme of strange sculptures, there's an enormous human hand half-buried in the desert of Chile. 
the hand is right in the middle of the empty, featureless Atacama Desert, making it an even more unsettling thing to encounter if you don't know it's there. All you'll find on either side of it is hundreds of miles of the Pan American Highway. The nearest town is Antofagasta, and that's 50 miles away. The hand, which is 36 feet tall, is the work of a sculptor named Mario Irarazabal and was built during the 1980s. Its name is Mano e Deserto, which literally translates as the hand of the desert. As strange as it is to see in isolation, it isn't the first time the artist has decided to grace a landscape with an oversized hand. He did the same thing with Monument to the Drowned, which can be found in Punta del Este in Uruguay. Even after over 30 years, each wrinkle of the skin on the hand is still clearly visible. The human mind has a way of seeing human features in all sorts of places, which explains the popularity of the next amazing sight on our world tour. This is Prohodna Cave in Bulgaria, which is better known to tourists as the Eyes of God. The reason for its heavenly nickname is obvious. The cave has perfectly symmetrical eye-shaped holes in its roof, offering people inside the cave the chance to peer out at the skies from below the surface. The cave is around 1,000 feet long, and at night, the eyes provide perfect illumination from the night sky to give it an otherworldly atmosphere. While the eyes were undoubtedly formed by natural erosion, some geologists feel they've since been accentuated by human hands. They don't just look like eyes. Thanks to the water that frequently runs down the cave walls, they also cry like eyes. Tears aren't the only things that fall here, though. The cave has become a popular site for bungee jumpers. Cappadocia, which is in the Nevşehir province of Turkey, looks like something out of a fantasy movie. If a film producer ever wanted to recreate the surface of an alien world, complete with alien houses and buildings, they could save on their special effects budget and just go to Turkey instead. This is a whole city which has been carved into the face of volcanic rock formations. The uneven yet beautiful structure of the settlement looks like it was formed organically, and much of it was. But the buildings within it are all works of human ingenuity. Originally, this landscape was a blanket of volcanic ash covering 1,500 square miles, which turned into soft rock over the course of some 3 million years, and then whipped into shape by the wind. Humans have used Cappadocia for many purposes over the millennia. The early Christians came first, who used the caves as a place to hide from the Romans in the 3rd century. 700 years later, the churches, which can now be seen here, were being carved by Byzantine Christian monks as a place to train missionaries. Below the city are more than 200 underground structures and endless labyrinthine tunnels. There's plenty of ancient history to look at in Ireland, but not many places have the beauty and wonder of Newgrange Barrow. It's an ancient tomb in the Boyne Valley area of Meath and was built by Neolithic people over 5,000 years ago. Even though it's older than both Stonehenge and the Pyramids of Giza, it's remarkably well-preserved, with the intricate swirling patterns in the rock still sharp and clearly defined. Newgrange is best described as a passage tomb and one that was built to be in perfect alignment with the stars. The best time of year to see it is the winter solstice, the shortest day of the year, because on that day, the rising sun shines through the passage and illuminates the central chamber. This would have likely had a special meaning to the people who used the site, although nobody knows precisely what that meaning might be. Getting close to the site at the solstice isn't easy, though. Admission is only permitted with a ticket, and there are usually 30,000 applications each year. The Cape Romano Dome House in Marco Island, Florida, was a fine architectural idea when it was built in 1981. It didn't quite work out the way its designers intended it to, but it makes for a curious sight, even in its dilapidated state. Local legends say that the dome house structures were built by a secret cult, but in reality, they were the work of an eccentric oil producer by the name of Bob Lee. Bob wanted to build a vacation home for himself and his family, and he wanted it to be self-reliant and environmentally friendly, 
quite a bold ambition for the early 80s. The domes were heated by fires, lit in the pylons below each room, and rainwater was collected as it slid from the dome-shaped roofs. The unusual home stood up well to the weather, but couldn't deal with coastal erosion on the island. The land slipped, and the beach below the house lost stability. Sadly, the buildings can't be salvaged for human use, but there are plenty of birds and fish who have made homes in and around them. We have good news for feline lovers. Cat Island in Japan is exactly what it sounds like. The correct name for the tiny, one-mile-long strip of land is actually Aoshima, but as cats are the dominant population, they have the right to have it named after them. Cats outnumber the humans on the island by a ratio of more than 10 to 1. This has happened because Aoshima was once populated by roughly 800 fishermen who kept pet cats. When the fishing industry in this area collapsed, the fishermen left, but the cats stayed behind, fishing for food and reproducing en masse. Now they have around 17 full-time human servants living with them, but they also welcome tourists daily by boat. The cats are very receptive to human guests, so long as the guests bring a little food with them. They're said to prefer tuna if possible, and they insist that you don't bring any mice with you if you're coming to see them. There's a special cat-themed resort on the island too, which opens between April and October each year. To look at Ice Reisenfeld in Austria with your own eyes, you'd be forced to wonder why the local population was terrified of it for so many years. The only answer to that is that superstition is a powerful thing. This incredible ice cave sits beneath the Hochkugel Mountain, which is near Salzburg. For centuries, local myths and legends said that ice giants lived inside the cave. And if you traveled all the way to the bottom of it, you'd find the entrance to hell. Anton Poselt was the first man to work up the courage to perform a detailed investigation of the cave in 1879 and was rewarded with the sight of the frozen cave with its epic ice daggers hanging from the roof. The unusual structure is all down to the way the cave was formed. It's made up of lava and limestone, which has subsequently been molded and shaped by a buildup of ice beneath its floor. Now the locals have got over their fear of it. It attracts 250,000 visitors each year. The Germans know how to do gothic horror very well, and whoever came up with Berlin's monster cabinet has done an exceptional job. We almost don't want to give you too many details of this location, because it would spoil the fun of visiting it for yourself. Inside the cabinet, are creations straight out of science fiction and horror. There are giant robots and mechanical insects all looming down at you from the walls and ceilings. Be warned though, parts of this House of the Bizarre are alive. Some of the residents are very much human and it's their job to scare you as you spend some time in their residence. Most terrifyingly of all, it's almost impossible to tell what might be a person and what might be a sculpture. You won't know until they move, and by then, it's too late. Oh, by the way, if you're afraid of spiders, you might want to give this a miss. The mechanized arachnids that scuttle across the floor as you make your way around are enough to give you nightmares for weeks. Subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications, and you will be the first to know when a new video comes out. Thank you for watching, and see you soon.